Hello and welcome everyone. Uh, welcome to this uh, new session. And today I'm going to talk about the first unit of block one of MMPC eight. So information that is uh, here block one name given introduct sorry <coughs> information technology for managers. Okay, so this is. Uh, the first block and uh, the first unit that is given information technologies and overview it means uh, we are going to discuss here uh, what different kinds of information technologies are there and uh, how those uh, technologies can be used for managerial uh, purposes or managerial decisions so that's what I'm going to talk about so now let's start so now I'm going to start with the definition of IT that is information technology so here as you can see on your screen that is 1.3 uh, definition of uh, IT so the collection storage processing dissemination and use of information okay so that is uh, IT information technology it means uh, using uh, te uh, information technology what we do we collect um, store process disseminate uh, and use information okay so these are the different uh, functions or processing uh, which we do on information uh, in case of uh, information technology so what is this information so first we have to know about the information so information is the data that have uh, been used into a meaningful and useful context okay whenever data that have been put into meaningful and useful context that we can call as information okay so components of IT system here you have components of IT system so technology plus software plus hardware so technology plus software plus hardware so these are the components of uh, IT information system oh, sorry information technology system okay now next uh, we move on to the types of information uh, systems so these are the different types of information systems which uh, managers generally use so the first uh, type that is given here this one is the first one that is a transaction processing system so this transaction processing system used for record keeping okay for what purpose we use transaction processing system for record keeping just like example there it is given order entry okay order entry payroll etc used for report generation so now here this uh, transaction processing system is used to uh, keep record so that's why that can be used for generating the report also second there it is given decision support system so this decision support this is also kind of information system so decision support system helps in decision making process and does not make any decision on its own okay it helps only but it does not make a decision on its own it has data analysis tools uh, which support and assist all aspects of the problem specific decision making okay so here given you have a lot of different kinds of data analysis uh, tools here in uh, decision support system which uh, you can use uh, to make a better decision so these all things whatever types of information system here given now uh, so we will uh, discuss in detail later on in a uh, uh, second block uh, or we can say in the successive uh, units um. so third kind of uh, information system that you have here executive information system or you can say executive information or support system so executive information system used by senior managers so now you see here uh, in second case it was uh, decision support system that it helps in decision making uh, which provides various uh, kinds of data analysis tools okay so that can be used by many people in the organization but in case of executive information system in case of this third one uh, used by senior managers so executive information systems are used by senior managers tailored to executives information needs so tailored means uh, here executive support system it is designed in a such a in designed in such a way that uh, it helps executives uh, 
to make better decision or you can say whatever different kinds of informations executives need for making better decisions so those uh, informations are provided by executive information system okay just like here given access a broad range of uh, internal and external data so since uh, executives have to analyze uh, a lot of different kinds of informations so that's why uh, executive information system has access now you can see that's why here it is it has access to a broad range of internal and external data fourth kind of uh, information system that is given that is a uh, workflow sorry uh, fourth one that here you have that is management information system so this provides management uh, routine summary of basic operations of the organization using transaction processing system so what it does what management information system does so management information system uh, provides management uh, okay so it provides management routine summary of basic operations of the organization so whatever basic operations of the organization are there so those uh, op in, uh, you can say the operations uh, summary are provided by management information system then uh, next you have the workflow information system what next given here workflow information system so what is this workflow information system so a rule based management system okay what is this workflow information system this is rule based management uh, system that directs uh, coordinates and monitors uh, execution of an interrelated set of tasks arranged uh, to form a business system so what here given rule based uh, management system that directs uh, coordinates and monitors execution of an interrelated set of tasks arranged to form a business system then uh, you have the sixth one here enterprise resource planning so enterprise resource planning what is this an integrated real time cross functional enterprise what is this an integrated real time cross functional enterprise application that support all the internal business processes so here given this is a kind of cross functional enterprise application okay so that support all the internal business processes it means whatever different kinds of business processes are going on in an organization so those all things are supported or you can say those all things are supported by enterprise resource planning that is erp next you have business perspectives of it it means so uh, what are different business prospect perspectives so of information technologies are there so now let's see use computers for routine jobs okay so for what purpose computers should be used computers should be used for routine jobs applications of information technology given finance and accounting so in finance accounting we use information technology so for what purpose we use in finance and accounting for analyzing investments and performance audits okay for analyzing investment and performance audits so that is the first application of it second application of it that is given sales and marketing so here data is analyzed using it to determine the best advertising and sales approaches and price analysis so that is the second one that uh, we use in uh, sales and marketing third one that is here given manufacturing so in manufacturing uh, it is used for processing customer orders controlling inventory levels developing production schedules schedules uh, etc so these things we use in case of manufacturing okay so this is on uh, the next uh, use of uh, it there it is given in human resource management for screening so for what purpose we use for screening the applicants and conducting tests in case of uh, project management we use a uh, project management software package for managing projects in case of uh, data analysis we use information technology or information systems to analyze stocks bonds and options to provide better services okay so these are uh, different uh, applications of information technology next uh, we go to the internet and it's a business application so internet what is this global network of computer so now here given 
so as you see here you have internet inter what in this internet inter is internet is the global network of computer networks global network of computer network it means in the world uh, there are lot of computer networks and if those all computer networks are interconnected with each other then that we call as internet so so uh, internet we use for first there it is given application e-commerce that is the first e-commerce second one you have teleconferencing third you have video conferencing fourth you have academic institutions uh, fifth uh, government organizations sixth uh, healthcare seventh uh, research and development etc means in these all fields we use internet so. then you have electronic uh, commerce or that is known as e-commerce um. so what are the advantage so advantage of e-commerce there it is given e-commerce decreases the cost of creating processing and distributing storing now you see e-commerce decreases the cost of creating processing distributing storing and relieving information okay it means overall you can say that the cost of uh, different operations on information okay the cost of different uh, operations on information is decreased due to information technology in case of e-commerce so that's here given because in case of e-commerce we uh, create process distribute uh, store and relieve information so that's why here it decreases the cost second that is going to reduce the inventories and overheads due to internet uh, we can reduce inventories and overheads because of uh, internet connectivity we can get real time uh, information of different processes uh, going on in the e-commerce so third one that is given uh, reduces time before payments and recipients uh, of goods now it reduces time between uh, payments and receipts receipts uh, of goods mm -hmm. So it also reduces the time because of the availability of uh, internet uh, payment can be done at the time of delivery also or uh, or you can say in the real time uh, we can do a lot of different uh, kinds of uh, works uh, using internet technology. Then the you have used in uh, business to call here it is given business to consumer, business to business, uh, consu uh, customer to customer and the government to customer businesses so internet we use in these all cases okay for do, uh, doing different kinds of activities in between bu uh, business to customers business to business customers to customers government to customers okay so that's about the applications and different purposes of um, then next you have uh, computer added design making so now you have you can see here computer added is uh, sorry computer added decision making there you have computer added decision making so that is here given CADS computer added decision making or that is also known as decision support system but this is known as decision support system it means here we use computers to uh, support the decision making okay for what purpose we use computers we use computers to support our information okay we use our uh, information processing and uh, other kinds of uh, analysis so uh, on the information using computers so that's here given used uh, when the problem so now you see so there it is given the computer error decision making that is also known as decision support system it means uh, used when the problem is complex and the information needed to make decision is difficult to obtain so there you see when the problem is complex okay and then the information needed to make decision is very difficult so in that case uh, we can use a information system or you can say computer uh, support system or can computer enabled system to process uh, information and then after we can make better decisions so, so decision support system it is designed with the help of decision makers because decision makers know what kind of information they need and what kind of processing on the information uh, they have to do so that's why our uh, decision support systems are designed uh, with the help of decision makers 
एड्स देर इट इज गिवन एड्स इन डिसीजन सपोर्ट मेकिंग डिसीजन मेकिंग एंड डज नॉट मेक एनी डिसीजन ओके इट एड्स ओनली डिसीजन सपोर्ट सिस्टम इट सपोर्ट्स ओनली इन डिसीजन मेकिंग बट इट डज नॉट मेक डिसीजन ऑन इट्स ऑन सो यूज फॉर थॉरो रिस्क एनालिसिस फॉर वॉट पर्पज वी यूज डिसीजन सपोर्ट सिस्टम वी यूज फॉर थॉरो रिस्क एनालिसिस कंसिस्ट ऑफ अ मॉडल ऑफ रियल वर्ल्ड कलेक्शन ऑफ फैक्ट्स डेटा बेस एंड अ यूजर इंटरफेस ना यू सी सो कंसिस्ट ऑफ सो दिस डिसीजन सपोर्ट सिस्टम इट इज मेड अप ऑफ अ मॉडल ऑफ रियल वर्ल्ड इट इज मेड अपन यू कैन से अ मॉडल ऑफ रियल वर्ल्ड कलेक्शन ऑफ फैक्ट्स डेटा बेस फैक्ट्स एंड डेटा बेस एंड अ यूजर इंटरफेस सो वट डिफरेंट थिंग्स आर देयर इन डिसीजन सपोर्ट सिस्टम डिसीजन सपोर्ट सिस्टम इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ अ काइंड ऑफ मॉडल विच हैज यू नो अ डेटा बेस एंड अ यूजर इंटरफेस बिकॉज विदाउट डेटा बेस हाउ द यूजर कैन एनालाइज so that's why the database database is also important in case of decision support system i think uh, that's it for the first uh, unit uh, then uh, in the second unit i will talk uh, computer systems and uh, smart devices but for now it is over so thank you all so please uh, keep watching if any doubt then uh, write down in the comments